Brother Simon's 20th article. For freedom, Christ frees us. Let me repeat that because this is the only verse of scripture I will use today. In Galatians 5, 1. Paul, the apostle of the nation, states, For freedom, Christ frees us. Stand firm, then, and be not again enthralled with the yoke of slavery. Frees us from what? Freedom from religious bondage. Go ahead, get the hell out of your church. It's the best thing you can do. Freedom from religious condemnation. You leave your church. I guarantee you, your Christian friends will condemn you quite possibly to hell. Deep down, they're jealous of your newfound freedom. Freedom to live without worry that you are not good enough for God. He made you just the way, you, way he wanted to. He loves you. He's at peace with you right now. Freedom to be yourself. Don't try to be someone else. You are an individual and you are unique in your own right. Thanks to your creator. Freedom to smoke a cigarette. Light up if that's your pleasure. It used to be mine. Freedom to drink a cocktail or a beer or a glass of wine or all three. Preferably not at the same time, however, just from a flavor standpoint. Freedom to listen to what you want. I like heavy music. Music typically condemned by the clergy. I'd rather bang my head than listen to a single word of their lies. Freedom to watch to what you want. Worried about watching an R-rated or X-rated movie in case of your minister or his wife seeing you entering, entering the theater. Buy them a ticket too and some popcorn. Share the love. Freedom from slavery to the capacious capricious capricious nature of mankind. Make your stand against religion and the demonic entities running the show. Freedom from trying too hard. Some days it's enough just to get out of bed. Freedom to swear. You honestly think the word fuck is more profane than saying a loving God's going to torture the majority of his creation forever in eternal hell? You, sir, need a drink or 15. Freedom from this wicked eon. Hold on loosely, friend. This shit show is almost over, and believers, also known as the body of Christ, are going to be extricated out of here. Be extricated out of here, seeing as we're not appointed to indignation. I think that's a pretty good start, don't you? Embrace the freedom you have in Christ. People will wonder what you're smoking. Oh yeah, you're free to smoke weed too. A warning, however, the authorities where you live may condemn you, but God won't. 